Tiffany, what's the buzz with this B box, eh? Anybody? So I wasn't here last time for the introduction of this thing. Can you give me a quick recap about what the heck this thing is? Yeah, this is our bee house for solitary bees. And they are bees that are not honeybees. They nest on their own. And so this is gonna be a safe place for them to nest. I noticed maybe some upgrades we got going on. We got a little technology going on. What's happening with that? In addition to our acrylic walls and the opening doors so you can see inside the nest, we thought it would be a great idea to add a camera and we started to add this trellis, which as we can show you outside, you're gonna be able to put plants right here. All right, everyone, so we've already covered the structure of the home, but now we're talking about the technology. So who better to explain all this to us than Bobby, our technological guru, if you will, here at First Build. Bobby? So uh, I'm a software engineer here at First Build, and what we did is we wanted to add a, a camera to the bee house. What we wanted to do was have it to where it actually will stream to YouTube, uh, so you can constantly watch your bee and your bees can have their own following and subscribes and likes and whatnot. So what we did is we replaced one of the doors on the bee house and we just placed a little bitty camera inside there. And if we look behind this, there's actually a Raspberry Pi that the bee camera is connected to. So we use this Raspberry Pi hooked to a Raspberry Pi 2 camera, so we have an 8 megapixel uh, image here and we can stream that directly to YouTube via Wi-Fi with this Raspberry Pi. So it just sits in here and looks into the bee house and we actually have it powered right now with a, a small solar panel battery so it can recharge partially uh, during the day. So this is like a bee condo for any social bees who don't want to hang out but we're going to still take away their privacy and spy on them anyway pretty cool all right bobby so this is a pretty close-up shot i mean we're going to be seeing that you know the bees eyebrows on this thing <laughs> is that on purpose or what's the plan well as of right now so this is just our our initial prototype of this and it's looking into a single tube uh and and just capturing a section of that uh, we're looking at kind of zooming out so we can get more uh of the the bee's life, but uh, we kind of need to know what people want to see. So you hear that folks? We want your feedback. Do you want to see a one bee? Do you want to see 20 bees? Do you want one tube, lots of tubes, different homes? What's going on? You let us know. So I know this is version 2.0 and you already worked out the 1.0. Uh, is anybody talking about this? You got any feedback? Yeah, I got connected to a pretty large bee community, so let's check it out. So Nancy responded to our newsletter we sent out and said, love the idea for my mason bees, but hate the mosquito breeding pool on top. So it sounds like the bee bath on the top of it might actually not be the best idea. So I'd be interested to know if anybody who does bee baths has had problems with that. And one of our responses was from Jennifer who said it might be good to add an additional enclosure to help for the winter, where the portion fits over what you have for insulation and a way to provide extra food during the colder months. This is something I've heard of before with uh, kind of a fourth wall being added to the front of it, which would protect from any kind of weather issues that you have, especially water, snow, things like that. Tynell, another person from our application, says that he'd be really interested in the bee house to attract more bees to his garden and his orchard, and I'm hoping that our trellis idea can help him with that. So thank you guys for all of the feedback. I promise I read all of them. Let's go take a look outside at the trellis. Oh, bees, bees, buzz, buzz. We're out here in the wilderness, come on in. Tiffany! Oh my goodness, there you are. I didn't see you through all this foliage. Now, we've set up our hive out here. Now, what is the plan? The plan is that with this trellis, you're gonna be able to add some chicken wire or some struts along the edges, and you're gonna be able to plant flowering vines and vertical vegetables like tomatoes and peas right here, right next to the bees, great pollination and the bees will appreciate it too. Well, I'm pretty pumped. This thing is exciting. Can I just like take it to my house? Is it done? Are we shipping this out or what? Well, we got two things we want your guys' help with. We wanna know first, would you guys prefer this to be sold as is or sold as a kit that you'd be able to put together yourself? 
And two, if there's any bee enthusiasts in Louisville, we want to set this up, get the live stream going, connect it to Wi-Fi, and let you guys test this out. Go to our website, and even if you don't want this thing in your backyard quite yet, please engage us, send us your comments, send us your suggestions. We want to hear from the community. Hey, Colin, why did the bee get married? I don't know, Tiffany, tell me. Because he found his honey. For more bad jokes and cool videos, you can like and subscribe, and remember, save the bees. Save the bees!